Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm glad that you could all be here this afternoon on this Saturday. Um, it is uh, just wonderful to be with you once again um, as we round out our week as so many things have transpired this week in just a variety of, of ways with uh, things happening within our own state as uh, things open up, as we think about what the future of worship looks like. Uh, we're not alone in that. There are other churches as well um, that are doing that. Um, and so, like I've said pretty much all week long, um, the council's going to get together. We're going to talk it through. We're going to see what's best for us in the direction we should go, and my hope is that we can be together again um, sooner than later. Uh, it'll be nice to be back in this space. As you can see, I kind of, I kind of picked the the altar here at uh, Sundal today as my backdrop. I was outside, and I really wanted to do it from there, but uh, the wind is just kind of taken over, and uh, you wouldn't hear a word I would uh, have said, although that might not be so bad. Um, but uh, just as a reminder, we worship together tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Um, so I invite you back here for that as together uh, we will also be celebrating Holy Communion. So uh, pre please spread the word uh, to those that may not uh, connect here or haven't connected this week that you know uh, and let them know to gather those elements that they have at home, the bread, the wine or juice, and together we will celebrate Holy Communion. Um, I don't think I have anything else that needs to come forward. Um, if I think of something, I'm sure it'll pop in my head as we go along. Um, you know, I, I've been doing a lot of reading this week on uh, just a whole slew of things from uh, the, the stem of what this coronavirus has done to us, um, how we've kind of put ourselves in lockdown or been asked to be in, in this lockdown or self-isolation. Also, what the numbers tell us and what statistics are and how we should view things and not view things. And it just, some of you, if you, uh, our personal friends of mine on Facebook may have seen the post I put up about we may not all be in the same ship, so to speak, but we're, we're in the same realm. I don't even remember exactly what it was, but you kind of get the gist of, of that. But it also hinges really on kindness and in all of this, everybody is going to have a different opinion about things. They're going to view things just a little different. Some are going to continue to want to be in their homes. Some are going to continue to want to be um, just kind of taking a step back, while others are wanting to be more out there and with their, their loved ones, with, their, with, with friends, just doing daily life. And that's going to be so true when we come back to worship. Not all of you are going to want to be here right away, and that is fine. Um, but in all of that, we need to be kind. And it led me to Colossians. We've, we talk about this often, but Colossians 3, starting in verse 12, it says this, As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, Clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, patience. Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all, clothe yourself with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called into one body. That says a lot. 
And I think in these days, as we are moving forward, as everybody is wondering what's the best thing to do, what's the right thing to do, we need to have these things. We need to have compassion. We need to have humility. We need to have meekness. We need to have patience. But most of all, we need to be kind to each other. We need to be kind to each other. Christ tells us that above all, within that kindness and that meekness and that patience, that we need to love one another too. That that was his greatest commandment, love one another. And so in the days that are going to come, as we not only look to our own spiritual self, not only to how our church is going to look, but to how we look as people in our communities, whether that's locally here or that's the greater state, the greater country, whatever it is, and whoever we come in contact with, we need to be kind to one another. We need to value each other, both as a person and as a fellow Christian. We need to love one another. I, I like I said, spent a lot of this week reading and looking at various comments on different websites and Facebook posts. And some of it is disheartening because some people just don't show that kindness to one another. You know, how one person feels about the situation is not going to be how the next person feels. We are all in this together. And we have to learn to love each other and care about each other and put these words of Colossians to heart. Be clothe ourselves with compassion, to be compassionate to one another, to, to look to one another and to have humility, to have meekness, to have patience, to have kindness, and to love. If we love each other, we will learn that together we will get through all of this. That together with God's grace, we will get through this. God loves us. God has walked with us this whole time. He will be with us as we continue to grow. We all know that it doesn't just magically disappear, that what is going on in our country doesn't just, we don't flip a switch and it's done. But we have to learn to love each other and to get along and to be kind to one another and to value each other's opinions and not to feel that our way is the right way. That, that as we work together as a community, we will do what's best for all of us but not to look down on each other, not to put people down, not to, not to say that my way is the only way, but to share each other's opinions, to listen to each other, and to do what's best for you, for you. And so I hope that as we look to the future of worship, that we look to the future of activities within our communities and our church and spending time with family, that we will all do that. Find time to be kind to one another, to listen to one another, to respect one another, and above all, to love each other as Christ has loved us. That's what this is about. That's where, what we have been all about this whole time, is to simply love as Christ loved to open our arms to all those around us, to welcome them with open arms, to, to let them know that God is ever present and that he loves us just as much as we love him. So take that passage from Colossians. I invite you, as I do often, after we're done with the devotion, after we're done with this check-in time, sometime this afternoon or evening to sit back and read this text that I have brought forward and see where your heart takes you in that text. Find a moment to just sit and be silent, read God's word, 
and just find a few moments to listen to him. Maybe this text will take you in a different path than it has led me, but maybe it'll take you in the same one. It's hard to say. But our text today, Colossians 3, starting with the 12th verse, I invite you to spend some time in his word, spend some time with your heart, to listen to him. I, you know, yesterday I found myself just at a point where I just kind of wanted to think all of this through and I went out for just a drive and I watched the sunset and it reminded me of the beauty that God has for us. Uh, that this, that in the midst of chaos and confusion, of anxiety, of fear, of the unknown, he was present. I watched that sun come down and I felt the presence of God, knowing that in all the chaos, he is still right there. Would you pray with me? Everlasting God, you have come to us in our lowest points. You have been with us at our highest points and everywhere in between. Continue to bless your people. Continue to guide your people to put on compassion and kindness patience, and meekness, and to love as your son taught us to love. May we all know that you are in this world with us and that you are the one that hears our prayers. God, we lift up to you those that continue to need your healing that you just be on their hearts and their minds and heal them from their physical or mental ills, that the Holy Spirit can work inside them and that they can feel your touch. God, we lift up our farmers as they are now starting to get into the fields. We pray that you are with them and the work that they do in order to sustain us. And Father God, as we are starting to look at what it looks like to get back into our churches and into our communities, give us gentle hearts. Give us the knowledge that we need to make the decisions that are right for all of us. And most of all, God, Give us kindness in our hearts to hear one another, to be open to one another, and to not be hurtful to one another. For it is in your risen Savior that we know that we have love that passes all understanding, that we have a peace that will never leave us, And God, continue to lift up those that are on the front lines in our nation right now, that you continue to be their protector. And as we gather tomorrow for worship all across this world, as we come to your table, may we know that together we are the church, that together we are loved by each other, and that we are most loved by you. We lift all this to you and those things that we don't know what to say that are on our hearts. We ask that you just listen to those and that we find time to listen to you. And it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Well, thank you for being here today. I so appreciate it. Um, as always, reach out to someone. Let them know that you're there. And as we together move in these coming weeks and months, may we continue to be kind. May we continue to be open to each other's thoughts. And most of all, May we continue to love each other in Christ's name. So until I see you again, may God bless you. May God wrap his arms around you and have a blessed day. Bye for now.